Sorry, yes. Over. Yeah, yeah, you're good. So now, because you're now becoming an authority within this space, we need to redesign the product offering so that you are head and shoulders above the rest. But also you need to communicate it in such a way and also learn to sell it with ease and confidence. So that's why we're going to design some sort of a blueprint without the pressure of you having to sell yourself. But it's the, the process of actually accepting and designing the concept that would take much of the time. The rest will just be, you'll be showing your stuff and saying, this is what we'll do with you. This is how long it will take, et cetera, et cetera. And then pretty much after the eight weeks, you now go into the gym continuity. This opens you up. First of all, maybe to people that are not within your location, location or vicinity. Yeah. Right? Sure. You know what I mean? So, so you're not only just tied up to people that are living in Sydney anymore. You now have, a program that can be accessed by people anywhere else. So yeah. this then opens your scope of what's possible within your, um, you know, your, your, your capability. So in the short time that we're going to be together, I'm just going to be giving you the tools and most importantly, the actual thought process for you to be able to achieve this. Okay. And the most common feedback I normally get from people is, um, you know, the valuable part of this eight week course is the clarity that they now actually get. Because first of all, you were probably caught up in the humdrum of people just need to pay me a week. I need to fill up my gym, but with what you really want to go and with what you really want to do, you need to create yet another program that can actually open up, you know, and, 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 and then you leave the gym part to somebody else to run that on. Okay. So for us to be able to do that, we need to work on who exactly you are because you know what? You only attract who you are. You can only help somebody that, you, that feels like you, they can be influenced by you. And normally that person is somebody who aspires to what it is that you are, your health, physique, what's been written about you, et cetera, et cetera. And now guess where all that laboring you're doing with the, with the publicity and stuff like that, you see, it's all the long game. Is it all sort of making sense now? Because you can only influence somebody who bloody well respects you or somebody who feels or thinks that you are able to help them, right? So if somebody sees you everywhere else, it then solidifies the fact that, okay, if Daily Mail trusts this guy, then that means he's a trustworthy person. Okay. Yeah. Now we also now need to figure out that target market, their real pains and their real needs. They don't want to get strong. They want to fit in a tailored suit. They don't want to get strong. They want to fit in a wedding, um, wedding dress. All right. They don't want to get strong. They want to be healthy and run after their kids. So we need to figure out exactly what it is their end goal. And then reverse engineer that because people would pay anything to get away from their pain. Right now, your biggest pain is you, you, you probably don't have clarity or you probably don't have clients and you don't have some sort of guaranteed income. You probably don't have a system to follow. You've got pretty much no freedom. You're tied up to your gym, right? You want to go away from that. And that's why you're paying top dollar to have somebody alleviate that pain away from you. Now, can you imagine if that pain is something that lives with you, within you, makes you uncomfortable to be around people you love? How much would somebody pay to go away from that? So that's now what we need to uncover. Those are their needs. Those are their wants. All right. And how do we serve them best? How are we going to position ourselves and actually package and promote ourselves in a way that we will speak specifically to that person? Because not everyone is your customer. Yeah. All right. So before we get really, really started on all the technical side of all of this, I just need you to reflect a little bit and, 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 and I want you to play around with what exactly is your passion? 
Because if, 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 if we're going to invest time in this, this has got to be something that comes to you second nature. And the test to do that is, even if somebody does not pay you, you're still happy to do it. Yeah. Now, are you happy to see somebody come to you and say, Brando, because of you, I had the best day of my life on my wedding. How, did, how is something like that in comparison to you know, somebody coming to pay you and then not follow through with the program. What, what, yeah. you know, what, yeah, what, 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 what really, really makes you, you know, satisfied? Tick. It does um, make you, yeah. Probably, yes coming to me feeling like they can move properly again. Like, so if someone felt restricted in their movement um, and then me teaching them how to, how to do that. So that freedom of movement to me, body image is something that obviously comes with it all. And that I know that needs to be part of it. Like most people want to look good and feel good. But for me, my passion is teaching people to, to go beyond what they've done before. Okay. Or yet to change their confidence. So like, yeah, confidence, I suppose. Like that self-esteem and no matter how you change it, it's like. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, more more towards like, live, like letting people live above mediocrity. So whether that means somewhere they've been before, letting them become more more than what they thought or living above the expectation of what they previously had. All right. So because everybody has a mind map of an expectation of what is possible within themselves, you know, like they know they can't, if you can show them, they can bend their finger all the way up until it touches there. That then creates a new conceived perception of what's possible within yeah. their body. Now, can you imagine how that frees them of, the limitations that they have is that is that what you give people you actually give you free people from limitations yeah that's ex pretty much exactly it yeah all right see you see you see how how this is now sort of being very clear as to what you need to be telling people you know because all right unrestricted like that's the word i use a lot like unrestricted or okay or freedom i think and that's sort of the words that resonate really well with me mm. um so i mean if if it is the weight that is the issue and that's what's freeing them um then obviously that, that needs to be freed or yeah free them of the limitations that they've had on themselves all right so your you would think that that's your purpose to limit people from preconceived perceptions of themselves yeah all right so how far would you go with somebody if they keep saying i can't yeah i don't know i suppose yeah it depends on that person or somebody who don't want to be helped all right all right so we we need to figure out what what also are you allowing yourself to go and uh, do out there? Because that then defines your elevator pitch. All right. I'm yep. the guy that would literally come and camp outside your house to make sure you're doing this. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I'm the guy that would literally call you at 12 midnight how far are you willing to do this for your customer? Because people don't care what you do. They care what you can do for them. So all of this, we need to figure out, are we the person that can actually then help these people achieve their flexibility or their body image or whatever it is that the outcome is going to be? Yep. All right. Are we the person that can, first of all, charge them, some sort of fee for an eight week or four week program and then still maintain them to come with us on, 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 on a continuous journey or do we just want them on a continuous journey? So what, what we want to open up is 
you also are stretching your perception of your world. All right. This then becomes your Roger Bannister. Have you ever heard of Roger Bannister? The four minute mile? No. Okay. So, yep. yeah, I think there's that athlete who, who ran a mile in four minutes and the world had never conceived that that was possible. All right. And he opened up that perception for people so there's always that one person or maybe the right brothers or somebody who starts something and when people realize that it's possible that another human has done it and there's a precedent and there's evidence that it's been done people will go all out just to get that for themselves yeah all right so pretty much now that's when we now figure out your clients what are their problems what are their frustrations right now? Yeah. What are their shortcomings? And what are their desires? Yeah. Um, they're obviously feeling restricted in some sort of way. Mm -hmm. Like the people obviously like on that I speak to, like on the like through posts or whatever, they're obviously listening for a reason. Like if I'm talking about that, then they're restricted in some format. Okay. Um, in their in their mindset. Right. Cool. All right. I'll give you this perception. All right. Um I don't know if you watch television. No. Okay. That's cool. But most of the people that you're going to be talking to watch TV. All right. But they don't know the cost of watching television. They don't know how much their TV costs them. Okay. So let's say their flexibility and their agility was going to help them get a promotion at work. You know why? Because they're present. Then they get maybe a $45,000 increase in their salary. Okay. But because they're just watching TV and they're not doing anything in their work and life, that television is actually costing them $45,000 a year. Yeah. All right. So we need to figure out what would it cost them not to go with you. Would it cost them their relationship? Yeah. Are they, are they yes. willing to forego 3,500 and let go of their wife, their kids and everything they built? Yes. Are they willing not to invest 3,500 so that they can maintain their position at work, a position in their team? What would it cost them not to go with you? So we need to now figure out what is it in that person's world How's it going so far? Good. <laughs> yeah. I just I need to type. I need to be able to see the writing. Very oh, visual. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm typing while you're talking. Okay, good. All right. How is this sitting <laughs> with you so far? Does this give you a perception of what it is that we really need to dig into to find our ideal client? All right. And I'll give you an example. Yeah. Maybe I can share this with you so that we can um you can also maybe copy it, right? This is what I've created for my own program, all right? So that I get a really deep understanding of who am I going out to seek, all right? So this is probably an exercise that you probably can do over the weekend. Figure out what is that person doing for work exactly that would entice them or really need them to maybe stay in that job or stay in that position so that they can get ahead and that's the sort of m mentality and mindset you would be working with them right yeah all right because also once you know this it will be easier for us to find publications what the the, the ones that these people read already you see yep. you know so Instead of us just going into the Daily Mail, we would go into 
uh, construction workers gazette because we would know that's where our client is. Yeah. All right. So that we need to know. And it, it then makes it easy for us to speak in their language. You know, do you find that when you put down your tools at the end of the day, you're so tired, you don't have any energy and you just want to go slump down in a chair. But if you would do X, Y, and Z, do you see now we're speaking in their language tools and it's happening to yeah. them and we kind of know who they are. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, what, what are they going through, right? What is their problem at that current moment? All right. What have they possibly tried before that hasn't worked? Why hasn't it worked? Because I think you would know all of this. They probably just tried to buy a Jenny Craig diet and bought a DVD from Kmart. We need to know these things. And how do we find this information? Yeah. How do we find this information? Those five people that are our possible competitors, what we do is we go into their testimonials. All right? We go into, we go into Brenda's testimonials. Yeah. And in Brenda's testimonials, we look at a person who is thanking Brenda for the transformation. So we find out where that person was. What did Brenda do? And what was the outcome? So yes. that's how we study our competition. Now we take that. If Sally says, before I met Brendo, I couldn't even move my hips. So their current position is cannot move hips. If Sally says, I couldn't pick up my daughter. Their current position is we're looking for mothers who can't pick up their daughters. If, if Ruth says they did not have time or they, they tried every other diet, we want to know that information. Because we're not just going to be flogging them what they already have tried because then it's going to be pointless. That testimonial is also going to tell us what do they need. Because you can only sell to somebody's needs, not to somebody's wants. Yeah. All right. So it would, it would tell you that I was looking for, you know, companionship. I was looking for, I, w I wanted to fit in my dress. I wanted to be able to compete in my ballet. I wanted to, do you know what I mean? What are those needs? So if we can identify what those needs are, we'll be able to service them. Yeah. And yeah. also their wants is usually luxurious, but it also constitutes to the logical part of decision making. Yeah. All right. What do they want? Obviously, right now, you would say money is, is okay, but that's not what you want. All right. Yeah. You know, properties are okay, but that's not what you want. But you also just need to know that that is also a catalyst or a derivative of your program. All right. And we, we, we need to find out because the market is already saturated by every other person who can lift heavy things and has maybe one set of abs <laughs> and is already saying, I can teach you, you know, so that in the process, he'll be gaining his own abs, but he's charging people in the process. Yeah. All right. What would actually wow them? Because your program is new. It's, it's not yet seen. Nobody knows what exactly to expect. So what would wow them and get them knock their socks off and want to do business with you pronto? Yeah. All right. And then we want to figure out also, how do we reach them? Where are these people? Are they buying books on Amazon? What magazines do they read? What blogs do they follow? All right. Who are they speaking to now? Because once we figure out, especially with magazines, magazines are the best. All right. Because I'll teach you a trick, Brenda. We can do this um, over the week. 
we can actually look at men's health yeah and find out if that's where our demography is and we can write to men's health together and ask men's health of their demography so that we can advertise in their magazine we don't want to advertise but they want the money all right so they will send you exactly who they're sending their information to now oh, yeah. now that makes it a whole lot easier for us uh, brah you made the right choice by choosing this program <laughs> that's good all right so we we can actually put that in, in in motion put a list of all the magazines that you think your ideal client is looking at right now and then we just simply write them an email and say can you give us the demographics we want to advertise this is our business then they will send you it because they have put in all the money to advertise in there they have yep. put in all the research to find out this is the sweet spot of the executive we want to reach out to cool all right so how do you how do you how do you see this um helping your business well yeah i mean obviously it's going to give a clearer perspective on who exactly i'm selling to which means that all the time and effort will be directed straight at them so we're not just spit firing and we can really hone in on who our client is i think the the biggest thing i mean of this stuff i've heard before like obviously knowing who to target um who needs it and then i suppose what i'm trying to do from here is figure out yeah the like a lot of people in the fitness industry it's obviously to sell to a, you know a fat woman wanting to get into a dress that's not my passion because like you said that's quite saturated it's now a point of like i've got a point of difference with what i can offer and some people like athlete, it's hard to get an athlete to pay money Ooh, i find it hard because they're they're obviously on low wages and they're trying to get better but they're not willing to pay so you've got to resort back to the stuff that people are willing to pay for and that's their fat loss or fitting into a dress yeah but the thing is it now depends on how you're positioning yourself yeah true you know because if you are actually passionate about doing it and if you can show some sort of result you can tailor make it to that person's individual thing as long as they fit into the grand scheme yeah. of person you want to help yeah so that's probably just an excuse isn't it if someone was really trying to do something and you could find their pain point you could sell it couldn't you no that's that's where we're going now if you actually know what the opportunity cost is what they would be missing out on if they don't go through with your program you see that's the thing about my blueprint i went in to discover all of these things it can be used in fitness it can be used in um any industry that you can think of right now i'm using it for a lawyer and i've got a dentist that i'm working with that is trying to position themselves yep. All right. So once you have crafted your sort of five step process, all right, you can tailor make it to an athlete, um, an executive, um, a PA who wants to be agile and keep up with work. You can tailor make it to whoever is willing and able as long as they fit into your scope of things. But you've got to find out who can you serve first. All right, because not everyone is your customer. And once you know the sort of type of person and who exactly is trying to be, you know, because then it then influences how you put your message out there. It then influences what magazines we reach out to. It then influences who reads our stuff. All right. And then once you get known out there, people now start really, really trying to, to be you know amongst your stuff and then they their own interpretation of what you're doing all right you leave it to their own interpretation and then all you're just doing now is taking them on with whatever first sort of course you have and then the rest is continuity which continues and gives you money what i've just done is i've just added another layer of income which i think you're absolutely gonna love before when I was doing this, I was just doing the SEO stuff. I was just grinding, grinding, grinding. All right. You know how long I've been in Australia? Six years. 
six years, right? I want to show you something. I don't know if I've showed you this because I just want to sort of show you that I kind of know where you are and where you really want to be. All right. And this is not to, um, yeah. this is not to impress you or anything, but I just really want to impress upon you that I've been where you are. First of all, Get us. Can you see that? Only should buy a house. Sorry? Is that a house? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a house? Yeah. Look at the city of. Yeah. What city is it? I can't see that. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Manda. No, 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 no. This badge here. Oh. Gold Coast. All right. Down a bit. Where's that one? This one is in Victoria. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, so that's number two. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, and the one that says we're finished with with our own house here. Nice. All right, Victoria. Sorry. Victoria? Yeah, this is in Victoria. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. you know, so I'm, I kind of know what I'm talking about and how this will elevate you big time if you do it the right way. Before, I used to just charge maybe $100, $200 here and there, you know, and then and, and people were because I, I had, hadn't got a process yet. So where I'm leading you to, to actually create a process, but you got to figure out who is that person who would be more than happy to just pay you that money with less work and very little effort. But you really got to find out who that person is. Yeah. All right. So this is now the first thing that we really want to do from today on. Okay. Um, we want to figure out what are you going to be selling and who needs it. Yeah. So a list of all those things. Now the things, the things that will help you to figure that out is first of all, list at least three major outcomes that you can provide your clients. Okay, so what is it that after working with you, what do they tell their people at a barbecue that they achieved? All right, and give me three ways of how you're going to be delivering this. What do you mean by deliver? Okay, is it going to be online or do you want people to show up at your joint or are you going to be going to visit them? How are you going to maximize the potential of providing your clients with results? Are you going to be meeting with them online like this, one-on-one -on -one, or whichever way? How are you going to be doing that? Oh, is that going to be a group coaching session? How do you think you're going to manage this? Okay. Now, yep. the third one is the most important thing. What is the greatest value that you're going to provide to your clients? Right, because remember, this is actually communicating your really big promise, and we want to do it in a way that the market is not used to hearing it. Otherwise, you get drowned in the noise. So, the greatest value that's pretty much what they tell their friends at a barbecue is that similar to relating back to that? Like, we want to sell what they want. 
Exactly. What would they tell their friends at the barbecue? What's the value that they got? Oh my God, my life has totally changed. I can walk again. My life has totally changed. I can chase my kid down the park. All right. So, you know, you, you, you want to have a positioning. This then creates your positioning description because it's now your unique selling proposition. It's the unique way that you're addressing your client's desires that will actually get your attention. So you're putting out your big promise in a way that the market is not even used to knowing what it is that, that you're, you're selling. All right. This then creates your position in the market. Brando, the outcome. All right. So whatever outcome you're giving to those people, that's then becomes your title. So Brando, the strength enhancer, Brando, the what? So once people now have that way of calling you, that's dear to them, you no longer have to influence them. They are the one making their own perception and they will pay top dollar for that. All okay. right. Because people now gravitate to you because they know what you stand for and they will run towards you because they know what you stand against. All right. You can't win everybody. So you want to give them the outcome first in the position of your description. And then whatever system we're going to create, you're now going to be Brendan, the founder of the strength enhancement process or the Brando method or the, the Hasik system of macho. You know what I mean? Does, does that sort of, it, it now becomes you. What you would have created yeah. now is something that you can't tear away from yourself and you will be passionate about it. You know why? Cause it's got your name on it. And you'd want to tell everybody about it right now. It, your distance to what you're doing, you know why? Because it's generic. It yeah. might be different, but one on one on anyone else in the market, you know, you, you're a fitness trainer. But once yeah. you start having these different Uisms, these Brendo, Brendalicious, or whatever, I don't know how you want to do it. And the people that are following you yeah. have, you know, a, a name that they call themselves. So people now know what your values are. They, your values are literally what it is that they expect. Yeah. All right. So... I think this is probably a whole big data dump, but in all rest retrospect, we really, really, really need to figure out how can we say we're going to give you freedom of movement and yeah. how can so, we say you're going to live above mediocrity. You're going to become more and unrestricted in the shortest possible way. And say it to the right kind of person who's ready to hear it and offer them a product that they are willing and able to pay for. That's my dilemma. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I thought that if I just gave you the money, you'd give me that. <laughs> okay. Oh no, we, we're, we're, we're working together. We're working together on no, this. No, but... no, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, but you also have to be clear. You also have to be clear on why yeah. this is important. Yeah. Because if I just spin food you with the stuff, you're not going to, you're not going to stay with it. Yeah. No, no, and no. That's, that's, that's it. And I know why, I know why it's important too. So that's probably why, you know, me, you doing this to me is what I need to be doing to other people. And that's exactly why. Yeah. 
you know, I got you is to find out the why and the why it's important. Now I need to get them to figure out the why it's important and then offer them a package to fix that problem. Right, exactly. So if you, the thing is, if you actually know your customer's problems, needs and wants better than they can articulate them, they automatically assume you've got a solution for them. Oh, that, that should be a quote, shouldn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to help <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll read it back to you, hang on. Yeah? Um. Cool. So yeah, know your clients' problems better. Well, no, know your clients and articulate them better than they can. So therefore, you position yourself in a position of power, and then all you have to do is package it and sell it. Great, great stuff. So, so once you sort of start knowing exactly, so if somebody's talking to you, then you automatically know. Okay, I think this is where they're heading towards, and you make them make the decision. Right. Yeah. But you know where you're steering them towards. Yeah. All right. Because already we're dealing with people that already got preconceived perceptions. We want them to be unrestricted. Right now, their world map is just what they know and what they've been influenced to from day one. But they haven't yeah. met the brand or method yet, have they? No, that's true. Cool. So now we need to think like, yeah, what is it like, you know, how do you package that to someone like, and what are they obviously looking for? They're looking for, um, like we, like that's my, I've almost got that name as being someone that can influence someone's movement, freedom of movement. Um, like we get a lot of people with injuries or past injuries. So obviously mm -hmm. that's a pain that they want to stay away from. Right. Um, and then putting that into a package where they look good and then also live above mediocrity. Cool. Because everybody wants to shy away from that, that which is maybe it's embarrassing. How do they feel about it? Because once you can articulate that, that feeling, are they embarrassed or is it, is it, is it, do they feel inadequate or do they feel, you know, limited? Do they feel like they have failed? You know, that, feeling you need to really really you know put it pull it out of them so that they you can actually then communicate it in such a way that's unique and you transform it using their own words all right so we don't want to really use any marketing speak yeah all right because obviously um what is that unrestricted or movement some of those words people would just associate them to to um some sort of market speak oh, hang on one sec just the internet's cutting in and out all right, sorry. There we go. Hang on one sec, Prosper. It's just the internet's fucked. There we go. That's okay. Well, the last probably minute cut out. Sorry. Oh, so you didn't, you didn't, um, you didn't get what I, I, I mentioned? Not that last little minute. Sorry, it's been cutting in and out. All right. Okay. So, well, obviously, I'm recording this as well. So, you, we will, um, will be. Uh, I'll send you a copy of this so that you can relook at it again. Yeah. So the last bit I got was we were talking about the feeling, um, and then their feeling. We need to pull it out of them and communicate in a unique way, using their words. Yep. Definitely. Because. Um, and, yeah, and then from there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need to be using it in their own words. So if their own words are my children, 
my family, my business, my work, we need to, we need to be able to pull that out of them. Right. And then I'll be like, Brenda, I mean, you don't want to leave your business. You started this business for a while and you've, you've done so well for yourself. All you got to do is push up a little bit more and then you get this result. Now, what would it mean for you if you could actually, you know, forget, forget about the cost, forget about everything else. What would it mean if you actually got the results that you're looking for? So I, we're just going back to the same example. What would it mean for you to actually walk down the aisle? right with your d dress perfectly fitting and all your friends and relatives are there cheering you on and happy on your wedding day what would it mean to you now that's th those are their words that's the emotion that's the experience so we're now tailor making it to them but you would have to know that your outcome can provide that Yeah. All right. Now that's exactly why people would pay you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So obviously we don't like, we can do those people, but that's not our passion. So how do we, what sort of things do you think my guys are looking for? Like what's the pain and what's the. Okay. So in your, in your own words, you want people to live above mediocrity. You want people to be unrestricted with um, their movement. And the stuff that you teach them is them to really understand their body, right? Yeah. Okay. So if they can now understand their body, all you're asking them is what would it mean if you are able to relive the, in the same body you were when you were 10 years old? You know what I mean? You take them back to when they could fully utilize their body and the things that they could get up to. All right. And from then on, they would tell you what that is. And then you just repeat it back to them because or automatically in their head, they're still way back at 10 years old and they're enjoying that emotion. Now they're now associating that emotion with you and what your program is going to provide to them. So most of these things, is as long as you know what outcomes you can give for people, what's, what, what's the extreme that you can do for people? Are you going to help people um, run a marathon or have, what is possible with body movement? You just want to work and craft that person's ideal wish or ideal need. So I don't think you've got a problem with knowing the anatomy of a human body. Yeah. You know, and also knowing how much you are willing to push somebody because that's also yeah. how much are you willing to pull out, out of them? So it's a lot more of knowing yourself and having the confidence to say, you know what, I've done it, or I know somebody who's done it. So that's that, that's the four minute mile for them. But you've got to be the person that is there and confident enough to articulate and say, Hey, Prosper, I can see you like wearing your suits, right? What would it mean if you could actually, you know, cause, cause it's, it's expensive for me to gain weight. <laughs> then yeah. That means... <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm going to have to have them redone and that's not, that's not cheap or whatever I have already, I'm going to have to throw away. And I'm really sentimentally attached to this just because they are personally mine. They're not anybody else's. So prosper, what would it mean if you could actually maintain, if you could just drink this and maintain the same body physique that you've got and then come and work out with us every single week or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So you got to personalize it. I think, I think we've got company now. One second. Sorry. Hey, honey, what's up? Yeah. Okay. See, that is working. Say bye-bye. Yeah, -bye. Cool. 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 What'd she say? <laughs> oh, she can't even talk, but yeah, she, she thinks she's saying something. One second. Sorry, man. Yeah.
Hey, sorry, man. If you pay a little bit extra, then we can avoid this. <laughs> 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 all right cool so so our guidelines in preparing our customer avatar is pretty much that which we've just talked about so who really needs this product and who really needs this service we need to figure out that and do you want me to send you a copy of my avatar so that you can yeah. you can copy it and then make it your own yeah yeah, I'll see what you've written, so then I can tailor it. Yes, you need to tailor it to your audience. Uh, info, right? Info at Body by Brando. I think I heard a good one the other day. It might have been you that said it or someone else was just said to ask, you know, your top five clients that you're close to and ask them, like, literally ask them, like, now that we've been working for a while, what is it that you still, what is it that you started coming for and go, and like deconstruct it that way? Do you think like, you know, when you first meet someone, you're yeah. restricted on what you'd say to them. Well, I'm not, I wasn't. And then after a while, like, after, yeah, I mean, you were, but I mean, there, well, I wasn't either telling you, but a lot, I find a lot of people when I talk to them, give you superficial answers. Right. And I suppose that comes down to me to dig deeper. Right. But um, obviously, I'm not, you know, in the position I, I haven't done that enough. All right. So rather than dig deeper with a fresh client, dig deeper with an old client and then deconstruct it. You, you're going to need to work with that um, sort of uh, old client just so that you get clarity. But it also yes. depends on what attracted that client. Was it the brand or you were at that time? So that might mislead yeah. you because now we want to really go in for a totally different person so that yeah. that person starts at this part of the funnel. Cause what we're creating for you is called a value ladder. All right. Yeah. So if you start them off at this big um, position, you, you still have wiggle room. If they say, no, they're not ready for that. You can still put them in your weekly or daily, whatever it is. You know what I mean? But if you just start at the daily, um body by brand the stuff you're doing now you've got nothing if they cannot if they're not ready for you you know what i mean yeah all right so yeah. that person that you attracted before was a 95 dollar person we are now wanting to look for a three thousand five hundred dollar person and you know, this guy I'm huh? thinking of sorry to go he's got me up he's a 300 dollar a week client he's so a 300 dollars a week client now he's an 800 dollar a week client Wow. Okay. So maybe that person we need to figure out exactly that, yeah, that's, why he keeps yeah. coming back for more, unless he's just secretly gay. Because you're a handsome fucker, right? Well, he's gay. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's gay. He's, he's got a he's got a husband. Ah. Okay. All right. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. No. No. Yeah. No. So no. The, are they? Yeah, my son. All right, so maybe maybe that's that's it. You know, you you yeah. if you find that is the person you're talking to, then you want to speak to that language. Be in that yeah yeah. yeah. Of We've got about twenty five. We got about twenty five. Right. Cool. So then maybe that's where the money is at, because then yeah, they 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 sort of want the one on one encounter and really yeah yeah look good, because to them that's important. Hands on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do I look fat with James? <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, they're paying you and they're affording you this lifestyle. So we, we need to figure out how to make them actually want more. Yeah. I don't know how to say that without. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay <laughs> my next thing really is um i was gonna say obviously you you want to be talking to the people but as soon as you sign somebody up on you want to find out what influenced them especially when they're still in that frame of mind that's why you said oh you're a sharpshooter because and you're already looking for a referral you know what i mean because 
then that's when they, their whole um, um, yeah yeah their psyche is still in that frame of mind. You you can tap into that because once yeah. they go a little bit further, they've probably seen a lot more things now that are just really solidifying their need. They don't know what probably got you them attracted to you in the first place okay yeah. so we need to figure out maybe once you've done that you need to find out where you're gonna get your first 10 clients do you know the answer to that question where you would get the first 10 clients if you were gonna be charging that premium for eight weeks mm. Current client base, maybe. All right, maybe the current client list. You can upgrade them or introduce them to the new product. All right, this will all start making sense. Maybe in in the next session where we look at what your title is going to be and how you're going to be presenting yourself and your offer and the product. So today, obviously, in sessions like this, the one hour sessions, we just literally just really go into the theoretical part of it which is the lesson. Yep. And then in between, we'll be going back and forth. I mean, like, you know, what, if you're free, you say, okay, those questions, and then I'll be researching as well, you know what? And then fitting you some of the answers so that we actually craft a really tangible product and a blueprint in the process, okay? And yep. um, we also need to ask this question, why will they come back? All right, so after the first maybe eight weeks, why would they want to continuously work with you on that weekly fee or maybe it's weekly videos, etc., etc.? Yeah, all right, and then maybe ask yourself when they tell their friends about the experience they have with Brendo, what is it that they will, what story would they tell? Yeah, because you want to influence that story. Yeah, you know why? Because you want to make America great again. People don't understand what that means, but you influence what they tell people. Oh, Trump is going to make America great again. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know. It's just it's just going to be great. So you want to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you want to influence that story. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then, um, you know, what other ways will you create value for them that would wow them? Because that's where it's all at. You know? So besides you working with them, because remember we asked that question, what is it? How are you going to be delivering this product? Are you going to be, you know, doing it one-on-one -on -one with them, video or whatever? How else? Are you going to be worrying them? Are you just going to be sending them, you know, periodic publicity, um, you know, needs or requests that come through to your table and that pertain to their business just to wow them and, you know, continuously work behind the scenes without expecting anything in return? Because that's what I do there. That's what a PR person does. And people pay top dollar just to be given those briefs every single day. Yeah. So, why my money, man? <laughs> but you, you get, yeah, people, that's what PR is. Yeah. You know? Yeah, okay. so if you're going to, so you're saying if you're going to keep adding value, eventually step them up the ladder or? No, it's just how, how, little things that you can do that they don't get anywhere else. Yeah, 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 cool. Um, yeah, well, that's what we're working on at the moment. Like, so we're creating a content thing, which be a weekly sort of what you're doing with me. It's like they get their training, they get their if they do one on one, they get their weekly like program, and then they get videos. It's going to be like a weekly video blog with updates for the first sort of eight weeks, ten weeks, and then yeah, cool. We're going to keep yeah, we're continuously coming up with new things there. Yeah. All right. So essentially, this is this is pretty much what I think you can maybe start off with. I know this might be a lot 
you know, to start off with. But once you get and you wrap your head around it, you can utilize this ammunition to actually create a business that's sustainable. You know why? Because you've already covered the bases. All right. A lot of people go into business. They don't know what they're offering. They don't know what the customer needs. They don't know why they're even in business. And that's why they burn out. People don't burn out. All right. Yeah. They just lose steam because they no longer align with their purpose. All right. That's what burnout is. Have you ever seen people that are in a marathon? If you are at the top of your game, if you are number one in that marathon, those people will die running. But if somebody's at the back, they'll be like, ah, you know what? I've already lost anyway. So let me go back and maybe I might win the 100 meter race. They go back and start again. And then before you know it, they're like, okay, let me go and try the javelin. Let me go and try the shot put. And then they just keep chasing the shiny. While it's the person who's in touch. Because right now, with just what we've done here, I think in the fitness industry, you're going to be a thought leader because no one puts it into such intensity of really wanting to figure out who their client is. Yeah. They just cool. go in there and say, okay, who wants to lift heavy things, you know, and they feel like everybody else needs to be fit or eat healthy or whatever it is, but it's, it's different. You got to work it in terms of how the customer wants to see it. And then, what does that make it? Once the customer, you've tailored it to the customer's um, needs, that customer will follow through with that program. And your success rate goes up. Because if it's about them, they would want to protect it. But if it's just a generic program, they don't care anymore. So now we want to figure out how to really tap into that LGBT sort of crowd that is paying you right now? What is it that really fascinates them? What is it that keeps them wanting to come back for more? Do they have friends? Do they have relatives? Do they have people that, you know, they hang out at the Doof Doof Club that they can bring, <laughs> they can bring to, your, to your thing? You know what I mean? Okay, can, they, yeah. can they write, can they write and express you know what it is that they're really getting from you can they write and express what it is they would expect more from you as well yeah who are they and why should they care about brenda cool stuff all right i know you're getting a little bit overwhelmed now and i don't want to bombard you and it's almost an hour anyway <laughs> yeah what do you think of our session today perfect good um what is a bit what is i had a thought uh, uh, uh. cool yeah good all right man all right let's leave it at that sorry the little one the mom just went off to the shops and i'd forgotten to tell her we're gonna have this honey no all good it's all good bro Okay, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> she won't take no for an answer. All right, okay. Um, I don't know. I think I think for today we're done. Let's continue. Um, yeah. Can you hear one second? <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, bro. What is it? Hmm? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. I will obviously edit out all these other parts in there so that I'll send you through this video as well. Um, yeah, what do you think of today's session? Really good. Gives me a bit more clarity on what needs to be done and how to separate myself in the market from uh, every all the other ball bags. <laughs> and um, where does that leave you from where you were before? Um, I mean, I don't feel totally clear on exactly how I'm going to, you know, communicate in a unique way, but, um, 
I think obviously if I sit down and, and think about why people are coming and, and then, like I said, those guys that are the ones that are paying top dollar and then reverse engineer that back, uh, can probably figure out why. Um, and then think back to, yeah. So I've also got two, like obviously that side of things, like obviously we've got the gym. Another passion of mine is helping people that want to become PTs. Like I've got a big ask already for that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to ask you whether that was a smart option, whether to take it on early or, or, or get the gym sorted first as that's the bread and butter and then look at the consulting. Um, I was going to look at like a coaching, the coaches type setup where people come to me to learn how to coach other people. Right. So what I would do is actually create this, um, the, the bond, the, the, the brand or method. All right. So that you yeah. actually now get more value from the PTs when you, when you can teach them that next yeah. level stuff. Yeah. Because right now, if you're just going to teach them how to lift heavy things, you're not going to make an impact. Yeah, that's what I mean. So let's work the gym and then we'll go consultancy. will be teaching people, teach other PTs how to do the Brando method. Yes. Done. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's my goal. All right. So maybe in, a, in about six months when you have at least two or three results, then yep. it then becomes, hey, Sally, would you want to learn how I created a million dollars just by telling people how to be flexible? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, so now it makes sense for you to actually say I'm an authority within this industry. I've been featured yeah. on Daily Mail. I've been featured on whatever. They don't know how you got there. You want to be teaching them that. That's it. That's what I want. Yeah. But I've got right. to have the authority by having a good gym first. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if you've got a good gym or whatever, but you've got that method and it's gotten results for at least two people and not just for yourself. Yep. Then yep. we've just created a monster there. So that's where you headed to, right? So, so that I know that, but we, that's, we need... That's what, I want. that's what's in my head. Great. That's cool. That's cool. But we need to really solidify on the brand or method because you will get paid a lot more if you can teach people the blueprint than you, if you can teach people the ordinary stuff, they can get a tape. Yeah. So you'll be able yeah. to command top dollar. You will be going to be with that already established with gyms and say, listen, what you're doing is mediocre. Look at what I did. These are the results. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got your guys guy. Hey, so lovely. He, he takes you and he stretches you. Now I'm so flexible. <laughs> no, I meant more, yeah, um, yeah, so obviously the, the people would train and then I would teach people how to train the people. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying you would have a review from somebody saying, yeah, <laughs> yeah so let's, let's, let's construct this blueprint. Um, I think the whole uh, Brando method is um, sticking, isn't it? It's sort of starting to make sense, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. all right. Cool. So all those questions, let them marinate, let them um, fit somewhere within your head. Obviously, you just heard this maybe for the first time or you've heard it before. Now, when, when, we, yep. when you now have questions as you're going through any one of them, I'll be then helping you and I'm researching behind the scenes as well. I've sent you a link yep. to my avatar. So you really need to just yep. maybe copy it or redo it in a way that you want, but you've got to fill it up. Okay. And um, action steps. Action steps are when you're ready, when you're set, let's find out those uh, magazines and write to them so that we get their avatar and the people that they're already targeting if you want to do that. So, so we have detailed, yep. um, what do you call it? We have detailed uh, descriptions that have already been tried and tested and paid for. You know, and also oh, then have whatever we have. Another place to go to is Amazon as well. Find out if people have written yeah. about those, um, you know, written about your subjects, those authorities that are in there already, especially the best sellers. Find out what people are reading in that market already. All right. And you can yeah. look inside the book. All right. And see what sort of topics are being talked about. Those could then help you formulate what your outcome is because that's already being paid for. People are already paying top dollar for that. Yeah. Sweet. How do you feel about today's session? Was it a waste of your money, time and effort, or was it? 
No, it's good. It's good to get clarity. Good to sit down and, and put it on paper. Thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> Even though I was jumping in and out with my little girl. What would you recommend as um, feedback that I should uh, improve on? Or how can I, I um, you know, look at your situation any different? Help me help you. Um... I suppose, yeah, just like understanding that that I'm not just going to be another sort of fat loss PT that wants to help people sort of fit in dresses, like there's more to it. So, I mean, obviously you, we're doing that, which is perfect. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, no, it was good. Like you understand everything that I'm saying. So, and then you obviously got the, the knowledge to back it up and then we're going to put it in a process. Cool stuff. All right, because obviously everywhere we're going i just want to make sure that we are all on the same sort of board so obviously today was the first one when you have written all that stuff maybe you can send it to me so that i actually understand where you are in your own language in your own yep. perspective and i'll be helping you correct it work with it whatever so any of the stuff that you would have written all the questions that we have maybe put it in like a document that we can both share all right. And yep. once, once we've shared that document, when you put it on, just maybe send me a message and say, prosper, check this. And then I will do my research and actually look at, you know, the marketing side of things. Cause you putting in the technical side of things, cause what we're building here is going to be the rest of your life, Brenda. All right. Yep. Because I don't think after this, you're going to go in and look for yet another shiny object because what the other guys do is a cookie cutter type thing. We are creating something from scratch that is literally going to be yours for the rest of your life. So, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the reason why, you know, first of all, when I was sort of, maybe we were talking, that's the reason why I was a little bit standoffish because I know I'm going to be sort of over delivering and really, really yeah. recreating where you're at right now. Cool. Because if you look no, at it, it, yeah, because if you look at it, even if you just have two people, coming into your um you know brand of method every single month that's an extra seven grand yeah all right and also the thing is since this is something that's of your own thing you can decide how much you want to charge yeah that's the best part about it so right now we've just actually really created yet another stream of income for you that never yeah. existed up until the last one hour yeah yeah well that's what i wanted to create but yeah you've we've solidified it cool Good. man I love it. thanks man cool All right. so I'll the, through and the next official call is monday but in between yeah. in between you know you've got total access to well at least I mean not like 2 a.m i figured <laughs> i don't know how much time at the moment to be fucking harassing you yeah all right so yeah cool. so if you're happy with this then let's conclude our first session together as a success go cool. all right cool and then we're moving on and then the next thing we're going to be really really talking about is your positioning statement and now that we already know because we've got like thursday friday saturday to you know come up with this avatar person thing but it's an ongoing thing for the rest of your life you're going to keep chopping and changing it but at least if we've got something to start off with, then we're now looking for that one positioning statement that will then help us speak to the avatar in as little words as possible. Because that positioning statement could be a title of a book, could be the title of your speech, because you want to be speaking, right? All right? Yep. That positioning statement could be the title of your video series, could be the title of the next program. Right. So we need to make sure we nail it right from the get. All right. And Sorry. then from there, it would then translate into the product. What is the actual product? How do we structure it? What happens in week one? What's the outcome? What happens in week two? What's the outcome? What happens in week three? What's the outcome? Yeah. All right. And literally, we would have, now we are now just implementing. We then go to your website, figure out where can we now translate all of that so that the website speaks to the person we want to speak to. 
so that the yeah. website sells the product we want to sell, all of that will be going ahead. All right, so oh. buckle your little gobbly shoes. We've got work to do, mate. Yeah? Neither. No worries, man. Thanks, thanks so much for yeah. today. And let's, um, yeah, let's, let's continue this. Sure. All right, buddy. Cool. Thank you. Bye.